فَإِن كُنْتَ فِي شَكٍ مِمَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكُ Here also I disagree with some or let me say most of the translators at least. They think here in these ayat Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم is being addressed. While I think that it is the reader or the listener he is being addressed. فَإِن كُنْتَ فِي شَكٍ If you are in a doubt مِمَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ about what we have sent down. Now this could, I could never ex accept it for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He could never be in doubt. So this is actually the people who were listening to these ayat, to these people to whom you know this, this guidance was directed. If you are really in any doubt about what I have sent down, فَسْأَلِ الَّذِينَ يَقْرَوْنَ الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُ So you can ask those people who were reading the book before you. There are the Jews, they live in Medina. You don't know about prophethood. It's something new for you. But you know you can go and, and, and you know ask them, inquire from them. لَقَدْ جَاكَ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّكَ This total truth has come to you. فَلَا تَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْمُمْتَرِينَ So you should never be among the doubters. وَلَا تَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الَّذِيَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ You should never be among those who denied and refuted the ayat of Allah, the revelation of Allah, فَتَكُونَ مِنِ الْخَاسِرِينَ Then you will become from among the losers. I don't accept that these words can be directed or addressed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ حَقَّتْ عَلَيْهِمْ كَلِمَةُ رَبِّكَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Verily, those on whom the verdict of your Lord has already fallen, already come. The seal on their heart has already been set by your Lord. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ حَقَّتْ عَلَيْهِمْ كَلِمَةُ رَبِّكَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ They are not going to believe. وَلَوْ جَاتُمْ كُلُّ آيَةٍ Although all the signs might come to them, never think that if the signs and miracles are shown to them, they will come to believe. حَتَّى جَلَبُ الْعَذَابَ الْعَلِيمُ Only if there is any, you know, chance, when they see the torment with their own eyes, then they will come to believe just as Fir'aun, you know, believed. When you know drowning had overcome him. Falaula kanat kariyatun amanat fanafaha imanuha. So that its iman would have benefited it. Illa koma Yunus. Except the people of Yunus alayhi salatu wa salam. What does it mean? After the signs of the torment start, now the, day, now the gates of Tawbah. Repentant, repentant are closed. This is the law. After the signs of death start for an individual, the gates of Tawbah, gates of repentance are closed. In the same way, when to the nation or the community to whom a messenger was sent and they rejected, denied, belied, and now when the signs of the torment, of the punishment started, they said, oh, we believe. Now it was not accepted. Except for one. There is an exception. And that's the people of Jonah. Hazrat Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam. I will give you the answer why. Why this exception? There should be some exception. If exception is there, there must be some reason for it. But this is the meaning of the ayah. But here you should think that the words are understood. فَلَوْلَا كَانَتْ قَرِيَةٌ آمَنَتْ بَعْدَ إِزْرَاتِ الْعَذَابِ فَنَفَاهَا إِمَانُهَا This has never been the case that a nation, if he had, if it, it accepted the faith, after seeing the signs of the punishment, فَنَفَاهَا إِمَانُهَا And its iman, its believing, would have benefited him. No, there was never. إِلَّا قَوْمُ يُنُسْ Except the people of Yunus. لَمَّا آمَنُوا When they believed, they repented, كَشَفْنَا عَنْهُمْ عَذَابَ الْخِزْيُ We remove from them the chastisement of degradation and humiliation فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا In the life of this world وَمَتَّعْنَاهُمْ إِلَاهِينَ And we provided them and we gave them a fresh lease of existence for a fixed period of time. Now what was the reason? You know, we have read the ayah in the beginning of Surah Al-A'raf. فَلَنَسْأَلَنَّ الَّذِينَ أُرْسِلَ إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَنَسْأَلَنَّ الْمُرْسَلِينَ And I explained at that time that this trio, 
اللہ سینس دی میسج ٹو اے نیشن تھرو دی میسنجر اف دی میسنجر فلفلز ہز ڈیوٹی دی آل ریسپانسبلٹی گوز ٹو دی پیپل اف سم ہاؤ دی میسنجر فیلز ٹو فلفل دی ڈیوٹی دی پیپل گیٹ اے کریڈٹ جسٹ لائک دی ماڈرن اکاؤنٹنگ فار ایچ entry there must be a corresponding entry for each credit a debit corresponding debit for each debit a corresponding de- credit so now there was a discredit to hazrat yunus alayhi salam why he left his people without the express permission of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for this he was punished he was swallowed by the fish the big fish maybe some veil then vomited on the coast wahua saqim and you know he beg he beg the pardon of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala la ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minaz zalimin this was the mistake he committed so the discredit became a credit for the nation because your messenger left you earlier then we had allowed him to leave we had our express permission had not come you must have read in the seerah you know that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he allowed most of the muslims to go to madina to yasrib but he was withholding himself not going he was waiting for the express permission of allah to leave and this is always the executive officers can't leave their place of duty without express permission they are the executives they have to control the things here they can't go they can't leave subordinates can go but the executives they can't leave so the messengers of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they cannot leave their nations without the express permission of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this was you know a mistake are done out of absolutely sincerity faithfulness to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he became very much outraged why these people are not accepting they are doomed okay i'm going muhaziban is zahaba muhaziban but this ghazab was against not allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ma'adullah this ghazab was against the nation they are doomed and i'm going but the express permission had not come so this is the reason but on this you know i infer we can also hope to have this concession why because to us today no infallible and innocent messenger of allah is preaching so we can claim a concession from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just as you gave a concession to the people of yunus alayhi salatu wassalam but this is my idea you may agree or disagree ولو شاء ربك لآمن من في الأرض كلهم جميعا and had your رب decreed or decided all would have come to believe all of them كلهم جميعا they are all under our control according to the saying of the prophet the hearts of all human beings are within the two fingers between the two fingers of Allah سبحانه وتعالى he can turn them in whichever direction he wants so actually we can do it but we are we are testing the people we are seeing who wants to be guided who doesn't want to be guided who wants to be guided we shall guide them who don't want well we, they, they, we shall let them go their way walau sha rabbuka illa la amana man fil ardh jam kulluhum jamian af anta tukrihu na sata yakunu mu'minin so will you o muhammad compel people till they become real muslim they become muslims and mu'minin there's no ikraf fi din as we have in surah al-baqarah like ikraf fi din at individual basis full liberty you are free to believe and you are free to not believe imma shakiram wa imma kufura you can take any way had there been no choice freedom of choice there couldn't be any question of any reward or any punishment for that matter so at individual basis no compulsion no coercion but the system political socio economic system that is a different thing if the muslims have power they must change it and they must try to gather power aidu lahum mastata'atun 
to be able to change the system and establish the rule of Allah. But then all the non-Muslims will be allowed. If they want to accept Islam, okay, welcome. We are ready to embrace. But if you don't, you can, you can remain as Jews, as Christians, as Hindus, as Buddhists, etc. And it was not possible for any soul to have faith except with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As I told you, there can be nothing. I cannot lift this without the permission of Allah. So how can one believe? But I intended to lift it. The permission came from Allah. I can say I lift it and I can say Allah made me to lift it. So both these things mean the same. And Allah puts filth, impurities on those people, abomin abomin nations of those people who don't use their intellect 